Racism okay, so them they say gay all day, stay serving hypocrisy. Delete the comments ratio negative, brace for the layoffs decision executive, IGN Rebecca narcissistic, ignorant and antagonistic. How's this video game not about me? Said the stupid lady in the game about a monkey, woke don't care about wrong or right, lipstick blokes with no proof wanna fight. Better choke fast, supports drying up, can't read the room when folks had enough. Ugly, fat, old, rage bait, racketeer, everything the woke niggas need to be queer. No choice, no options, no variety. DEI must hate sobriety. Block and hide in your echo chamber, MCU you fantastic Mrs. Flamer. Game journals wanna speak for everyone. Tell it to your locked comment section. Incompetent, sheer, transparent, clear, adhere to queer smear and end your career. Got you bitches flinching like I'm about to drop a hard R. Miles Morales will never beat Peter Parker. Who who dude get a clue it's not about you monkey man poor Mountain Dew on your loose screws. Wu Chang Wo Long Wu Kong Wu Tang right back at you like an outback boomerang. Journos gamers will not grieve don't take my word for it you gotta believe. Super califragilistic if I made a good joke you'd become a statistic. Layoffs popping while you sobbing cold just desserts for basking and robbing. Reap what you sow Pinocchio knows AI's what they chose while you decompose. Keep making noise around the music maker your only use is as a flat rum shaker Cultures had it with your war on pretty You the fool I pity, here take your tree pity Hello beta testers <laughs> Did you guys see that games journalist say that grooms should never know a moment of safety or peace in his entire life? <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much how it's going like and subscribe to join over 95,000 beta testers and comment or correct me below I, I'm trying my best not to feel outraged or upset at the cultural vandalism that's occurring in every direction that I look. My name is Kyle, and I focus on what's irrefutable. I tell people to keep their phones charged because often proof is not enough. And if the government wants to class a justified reaction by gamers after years of gaslighting and racketeering on behalf of the ugly, illiterate, and worst of all, boring activists calling themselves journalists desperately clawing for attention to reinforce their diversity grift, so be it, motherfucker. Gnarly, tubular, radical. I don't waste my time, I spend it, and I've devoted myself to a message that I believe in with as much passion as the ugly developers bring to the table, paradoxically expecting majority heterosexual male audiences to purchase their ugly, flat-chested, big chin, this is what a woman looks like, a man? Bullshit. Nah, we, we're not buying that, by the way. Insufferable, out of touch, hate-filled losers, posing as developers, have lost their damn mind. And they've taken the time to spew plenty of things that they thought was intelligent to put out there. And now were they subject to even a moment of the incessant cancellations that their side doesn't need any evidence to kind of thrust on to people, they would instantly transition into the statistics that they're always throwing in people's fucking faces if it has anything to do with them. You can make fast enemies veering into their lane obnoxiously while people are just trying to stay in theirs and do their own shit. But blocking the street for everyone, that's a good way to turn previously on your side people into enemies against your cause. What's funny is to match these aggressive, culture-regressing psychopaths, we'd have to match their energy. And were we to even come close to that, we would be labeled as absolutely unhinged, mentally unstable, radical douchebags. Because just like the non-existent news, because of how a serial killer identifies in the way of their transgenderism or a tunnel dug by Jewish people with stained mattresses and baby carriages underground, this shit really just don't exist if the right people considered your message the wrong thing to talk about.
factual or otherwise. So Google got employees teaching AI to be racist and spotlight net bullshit makes me the motherfucking villain. I can tell y'all about Adobe overstepping its motherfucking boundaries and that ain't an issue until they accidentally sees too much and the government gotta step in. Oh no. But when I tell you a Spider-Man developer is eager to make the game about Mary Jane and frankly anything other than fucking Spider-Man and he's willing to rewrite the language because he's the cuck kind of yes man that you're used to seeing in these naughty dog studios where you just roll over and let the women decide whatever the fuck is necessary for a modern audience even though that ain't indicative of the majority of the motherfuckers out there you can end up with the people so angry that even in the midst of your studio they're deciding they're going to leak this shit months of their life years of their life potentially they would throw away because of their belief in this cause against you you're making things so woke that they're unprofitable learn this lesson if it makes me a bigot and a racist and a transphobe bitch oh no you know what it doesn't make me though wrong gay and we respect all of y'all for being whatever the fuck you want to be at the end of the day respect that is not extended in our direction so do you deserve it <laughs> we won't pay for ugly and flat chest no way is that problematic <laughs> It's gonna be real problematic for you, partner. Weathering waves over a hundred million just came out. Genshin, Honkai Impact, Honkai Star Rail, Zenless, in a couple of days. Last video, it was four hit pieces claiming that Chinese developer behind Wukong was sexist. You know, we're past 10 now. You know, everybody had to throw their hat in the ring in support of this made up story from IGN's Rebecca. You absolutely unhinged weirdos are threatened by information, factual information that you wish to hide. And it makes you evil, if I may say so myself. So ice the ass blasted comments that you can't stop making about people who it's clear you are triggered by receiving any more attention than you. Because that should be your attention, right? What a Paul Tassi move on all your fucking behalf. Journalist of Forbes, by the way. What did you guys learn from Hogwarts Legacy? Nothing. What did you guys learn from Stellar Blade? Nothing. Beta testers, what have we learned from the experiences? That's what, that's what we call it, experience. As gamers, it, it means something different to us. It molds us and makes us different than we were before. This experience <laughs> makes it so we are not as we began. But these people don't change. The irony being, all they want to do is change everything to match them. If they're in tears enough to strike any of us down, they will immortalize our martyr message. I could not talk about the ugly Jean Grey <laughs> that Insomniac was of course planning to trot out in their Wolverine game. That's going to be mostly about Jean Grey, you know, just because, hey, just you got a Spider-Man game. That's kind of mostly about Miles and, and, and Mary Jane. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you remember Alan Wake was really mostly this race swapped character that used to be white, but now she's black. Remember Marvel's Avengers? Who do you think you was playing majority? Because if your answer was anything other than Kamala Khan, <laughs> You're wrong. Did you guys see Wesley Snipes, the OG Blade, roasting the troubled production surrounding the Maharshala Ali Blade project that just can't seem to get off the ground? You know why. It's because Disney's trying to make that everything but a Blade movie. All you need is a black motherfucker, we got that. Trench coat, leather, some blades, some guns. Let's throw some sexy bitches in there dancing in a blood raven. Oh, oh Disney, of course. So the problem is going to be that they're trying their best to give it the acolyte treatment to make it for a, a different audience than the one that they need to make money from. So, you know, gaming. It's gaming. Ditto gaming. Sensitivity consultation and boneheaded direction has locked a trajectory that will be steadily traveled until wrong turns to right. And I should amend that to say, if it turns to right. If collapse occurs before, then I guess collapse was necessary.
for this woke modern West bullshit. Disney and Hollywood have loudly and slowly learned this lesson. So to watch gaming that in many cases, looking at Fortnite as an example, can instantly amend things to suit in the conversation that is how live services work, the players. But y'all go in the opposite direction. You know, I, I see them say DEI stands for didn't earn it. What you guys have earned is whatever follows this failure. The games you're giving the acolyte treatment will not succeed. You needed talent. You needed men, not yes men and cocks. Givers, not takers, unapologetic, heterosexual men who are well aware what the audience wants and isn't willing to compromise. I could go on for hours and I'm not going to. Beta testers, I do want to talk about what I am excited about. And it's time to do that now. But I think it's... It's really reaching a point where they, they're having trouble resisting their understanding of the writing on the wall that they have forced themselves to stay illiterate to. They know what it means now through osmosis, whether they can read it or not. Sucks, huh? But well, we didn't do this to you. Mm-hmm. <laughs>